Thank you, Mr. President. Sudan would like to thank all panelists for their rich contributions. We believe that the debate's guiding questions bring us um, to the most important challenges in promoting human rights using UPR, the full coordination of all three executive, judiciary, and legislative entities, along with international cooperation, are necessary for success in implementation of recommendations. Our experience with at least one of our council countries shows that the broad reception of separation and independence of judiciary and executive powers and their deep contradictions against each other have led to the fact uh, that none of them feel responsible uh, for implementing accepted recommendations from the UPR. In the same country, the representative of a fully appointed judiciary and a partly elected executive who do not even have the freedom of choice of the Minister of Justice give the accountability of not implementing the recommendations to each other. As a result, after two cycles, uh, there are no significant changes um, observed regarding the accepted recommendations. It is obvious that there is not any will to establish a plan of action in implement, uh, to implement uh, the recommendations of human rights mechanism, in, uh, including the UPR by these concerned countries and countries similar to it. Therefore, no effective assistance uh, is requested by such a countries for, uh, from the High Commissioner or Secretary General. Alas, only around 20% of UN countries have already established program of action for implementation of UPR recommendations. Honorable panelists, upon our experience, whenever the representatives uh, of uh, executive entities, including the foreign ministry, were responsible for the country delegation during UPR cycles, the implementation of accepted recommendations were more successful, more, more successful. We would appreciate if you could share your expertise opinion on this regard. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank you. Next.